Wow, so many. <laughs> I'm going to talk about this red tree right here, this real tall one with this smooth and peely red bark right here. So this is known as the madrone tree. Uh, Arbutus menziesii is the Latin name. And another herb you may have heard of that this is a relative of is Uva ursi, which is this tiny little vine way down in the ground. These are in the same family, which is the best family, which is the Ericaceae family. <laughs> uh, good name, huh? Anyway, we use the leaves. This one is way too tall to use the leaves. We want to find the younger ones. Uh, this tree is having a very hard time inside the city. It's dying. This one is not doing well. And we don't know for sure, but the current belief is that's actually because the soil has been disturbed and the microbes in the soil and the fungus are not right. So it can't get the nutrients it needs from the soil. But there's concern about air pollution and lots of other things. Now away from the city, it's still doing okay. But this is important because this is only found in the Pacific Northwest. It's, it's endemic to the Northwest. Now it's been planted elsewhere in the world to try to save it. But um, so one way I want to promote saving this is to recognize the value. It's not just pretty, which is a great thing, but it is actually a really useful medicine and especially the leaves for urinary tract infections, which is what you may know about Uva ursi if you've heard of that one. But this one is basically five times as strong. Or I don't know if that's actually true, but one of my students did a chemical analysis of the leaves of this, and it had five times the, the chemical in Uva ursi that Uva ursi has in it, which is called Arbutin. So I don't actually think it's five times stronger. It's maybe twice as strong. <laughs> So the way we harvest this to not hurt it is, we wait until the leaves fall on their own and we come gather them off the ground, not the old brown dead ones, like the recently fallen ones. So these are gonna be falling way out in the woods. We're not gonna find this one, but we don't really wanna pluck them off the tree because we don't wanna hurt it since it's already struggling. And then you, sh you can either make a tea of that or what's even better is to make a cold infusion like a sun tea, you know, where you throw the leaves in water, you let it sit for 12 hours. And that's because if you take it as a hot tea, it can really upset your stomach. It has lots of tannins in it, which can be kind of irritating to the stomach. So the cold infusion avoids that problem pretty well. You can also do it as tincture. You know, that's, that's certainly something else I've done. So it is possible to self-treat a, a mild urinary tract infection with this potentially. Of course, if it starts to get out of control, symptoms aren't getting better in a day or two, you should clearly see someone. Um, but this is something I use and um, have really loved it. Have had patients who have used Uva Ursi and then tried this and said, wow, that definitely worked better. Uh, so I think it's a great resource. It's little known which maybe it should be little known, I don't know, but if it helps us conserve the resource, that's, that's a good thing about it. And it's so beautiful. Please plant these in your yard, and who knows your soil will be right for them, but they're wonderful.